she just threw water on him? That's not how you give a vaccine. Do they know that? Where are you going? You're walking through a wall. Charles. Oh my god, she's so angry right now. She's so angry. and welcome back to another episode of Royal Twin Adventures. I've done a bit of a time skip since the last episode, which I apologize because I didn't warn you guys I was doing. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things in this episode. I'm very excited. Charles is going to be meeting Fallon's parents for the first time. I'm going to fill you in what has happened between the last episode and this episode as well. We're going to see Bellatrix with her dangerous mission, of course. And then we're going to be having a party. Charles and Maxwell are throwing a party at their, I guess, apartment or townhouse in Brightchester. So it's going to be a very fun episode. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that like button. So this is actually Fallon's parents' house. She's home for break. In the last episode, I think I said that we were going to have Charles take her out on a date to a restaurant. So that stuff has already happened. I apologize, I didn't show it, but there'll be plenty other dates that we can see with them. It is snowing a lot, but this is Fallon's parents' farm. Obviously, there's not too much farming going on because it is winter time. And they actually also have a winery. I guess they have a winery. I think that's the right way to say it, but yeah. They, they have like a whole wine cellar, so they also make and sell wine. And then also what has happened between this episode and the last episode is that Charles and Fallon are officially dating. So basically they went out to dinner, they'd been seeing each other for a while, and then Charles basically just asked her if they could be exclusive. Charles is just a little bit worried about telling her. He has just been trying to get away from all the royal drama, just from the whole thing with Araminta. However, if you guys did see the last episode of The Royal Family, which is season two, episode episode 47. Charles did apologize to Han, which is his ex-girlfriend's current fiance, because he had started a fight with him at the debutante ball like a year ago or so. So yeah, that all happened. Oh, and then they just lit the tree and the parents are running away. Where are you going? Why? Where are they going? That was weird. I've never seen that before. Is it because it's cold? Because they're not outside here. That was interesting. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna have a dinner party. Fallon is going to invite Charles over. So plan a social event. Um, you know what? Her parents should probably start cooking. Um, let's have her mother. This is a really nice kitchen, actually. Let's have her mother cook a grand meal. We're gonna have a cur uh, a turkey dinner. We're gonna have a turkey dinner. I feel like her mother is a very good cook. Like one of Fallon's favorite things is her mom's cooking. But okay, so we're going to have a dinner party with. It's just. Charles. So, I mean, we're all hosting. Oh yeah, I should probably introduce you guys to Fallon's parents too. But yes, Charles is here. We don't need a caterer. I don't know why it's a Schaefer residence. It's supposed to be the Waterloo residence. So I need to change that. But yes, this is Fallon's mother. Her name is Meredith. And then we have her father, Eric. They are the Waterloos. And I am going to have Fallon set the table. So Charles will be here soon. So yes, this is the first time that Charles is meeting her parents. It's a big step. I think Charles does want to tell her that he is a prince. He's just waiting for the right time. But I think he's almost ready. I, I mean, obviously, I don't think he's going to tell her here. I feel like that would not be the right time or place. But Charles was home for break. So he's here now. They're just talking. Her parents are currently getting stuff ready. So he'll meet them in just a moment. But yeah, he was back in Windenburg. We got to see him at the winter ball. He was only there for like a week. But I think he did tell his mother about Fallon. And he told his mother that she doesn't know that he's a prince yet. And I feel like Ava, his mother, was like, you need to tell her. Like that poor girl. Like, I want to meet her. I feel like Ava really wants to meet her. But Fallon has to know that Charles is a prince before she meets Ava. But they're so cute, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to have Fallon's mother, Meredith, go meet Charles for the first time. So we're going to do... Oh, just an attempt an introduction because he's a celebrity. Okay, that's fine. She's just... Pretend she's just doing an introduction. Pretend she doesn't have to do that. Okay, so they are now meeting him. Now his parents don't know who Charles is. They don't know he's a prince either. He's to like impress her parents, which is great. I do think that Charles can be pretty charming, so I'm sure that Fallon's parents really do like him. I am going to have them go, because we are doing a lot in this episode, so I'm going to have them start eating. So we're gonna call to meal, call to grand meal. Um, So I do also think that they've exchanged their gifts to each other for the holidays. So Charles got Fallon this necklace. I think he had a hard time, like he didn't want to, oh, whoa, okay. He didn't want to get her something too expensive and make it obvious how much 
much money they had. I mean, Fallon knows. Oh no, please don't sit there. Please sit at the dinner table. But Fallon does already know that his parents have a lot of money. Like she's been able to figure that out. She just doesn't know that they're royalty. But yeah, Charles got her that necklace and Fallon got him this little picture frame of them, which I will show you when we go back to Charles and Maxwell's home for the party. But it's so cute. It's adorable. So yeah, that was our little gift exchange to each other. Now I was talking to Cassidy, who is the person who made Fallon and her family. She is Simmerfly on the gallery if you do want to download the family, which I will put in the description below. But we were brainstorming some things and we think that Fallon's father might just be like trying to figure out where he's seen Charles or like why Charles looks so familiar. And I kind of feel like, so he's talking to him now, I kind of feel like he's like, has anyone ever told you that you look like King Henry IV of Windenburg or the late King Henry IV of Windenburg? And I feel like Charles is like, um, what? Because Charles looks exactly like Henry. Like, honestly, he looks more like Henry than Kellen looks like Henry. But yeah, I feel like Charles is like, uh, what? And then like, is trying to change the subject. He's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about or anything like that. And then he's like asking him, so what is it like selling carrots and produce and that stuff? And I feel like Fallon's just like, what? Carrots? Like, why, where are you getting that from? So yeah, I definitely think Charles gets a little bit awkward and dorky, especially because he likes Fallon so much. I don't think Fallon knows, like she, I don't think she's ever seen a picture of King Henry IV, Charles's father. So I don't think she would have recognized that at all. And I don't think her parents keep up with the royals either. I think that they just know King Henry IV. I think they know that Amira is the queen right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then someone asked too, but Journey, which is Fallon's roommate, she doesn't know anything about the royals either. So they don't know that Maxwell is a, from a noble family. They do know that Charles and Maxwell are cousins though. But yes, that is what is happening. Charles is like trying to lay low. I think he's going to wait until Fallon comes back to Brightchester before he tells her that he's a royal, but I think he's trying to figure out the best way to tell her. And Charles is also feeling flirty because he's around Fallon too. But I mean, things seem to be going pretty well with her parents. They seem to like him a good amount. So yeah. Okay, so we are now going to go see Bellatrix in Strangerville. Um, and then we're gonna come back to Charles for the party and all that stuff later, cause that'll happen a few days later. But yeah, let's go see Bellatrix. All right, so we're back with Bellatrix. As you guys saw, I saw the mother plant for the first time in the last episode and it was terrifying. So now we have to find a cure for the infection and assemble a team to destroy the mother plant. So that's fun. So I guess we'll just go into town and find these things and I'll just like talk through stuff and the story as we're doing this. I don't know if we're actually gonna get to defeating the mother plant today. Cause I want, like I don't want Bellatrix's story to end before Charles' story. Like I want them to end around the same time. Now Charles did get to go back to Windenburg for the winter ball, but Bellatrix didn't get to go back because she still has so much going on with her mission. And I feel like in between this episode and the last episode, she has told who she needs to about the plant. So they've just been training, trying to get a team together. I'm gonna get rid of her hazmat suit cause she's the only one wearing it. And it just looks a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, so I feel like they've just been trying to assemble a team together. They have been trying to figure out this whole vaccine mother plant stuff. There's no one here. I've never seen it look this deserted before. Oh my gosh. Okay, I found one, I found one zombie person, possessed person. Try to talk to him, Rohan. Oh my gosh, it sounds like Johan with an R. We're gonna make him snap out of it and, uh, no, stop. Oh God, okay. <laughs> snap out of it, please. Okay, he snapped out. So, Strangerville investigation, talk recruit to fight mother and plant. Oh, I gotta get the vaccine first. Oh, I have to go to the chemical analyzer at the secret lab. Okay, okay, I guess we're going back. That's fine. All right, let's go. But yeah, so Bellatrix didn't get to go back home. So she hasn't seen Samaria. I'm trying to figure out a good time for her to be able to see Samaria. Like, I don't know if she's going, you guys have to tell me what you think in the comments below. I don't know if she's gonna be able to see Samaria. Like, obviously I want her to, but would it make sense? Like, I think her mission's gonna have to be over before she can see her, which is so sad because it's it's been months since she's seen Samaria and I feel so bad they haven't seen each other for so long. I want her to at least see her once, but okay, use key card, let's go, oh, and all right, things are freaky, things are scary. It's fine, it's fine, you guys are here. All right, let's go, oh, create experimental vaccine. Why can I do this? Requires five spore clusters and one bizarre fruit. They make this difficult, don't they? All right, is this a bizarre fruit? It looks like one. I also need more spore clusters, so I'm gonna scan for that. But yeah, I really want Bellatrix to be able to see Samaria soon. They haven't seen each other in so long. 
long. We've just been FaceTiming and Skyping. But even now, I feel like Bellatrix has been so busy, she hasn't been able to do that much. But I think that once Samaria has turned into a young adult, maybe Bellatrix might think about proposing to her when she gets back, so that's an option. I think that would be so cute. I'm so excited. I think she might be able to be stationed in Zulani and they could live there, which would be really cool. Okay, I need a whole bizarre fruit. If I nurture it, is that going to be bad? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna nurture the plant, I guess. It says we need the fruit. So like if we take the fruit, if we nurture it, I'm assuming we can't taunt it. Otherwise it'll get angry. Oh, okay. Har oh, harvest. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. That's fine. We're good. We're all set. Okay, we're gonna create the experimental vaccine. I like that we're here doing this and that gigantic frightening plant is just right below us. Okay, she has made the experimental vaccine. So we are gonna go back into town. It's nighttime. This is even scarier at night. Okay, we're at the bar. So I actually have to find Sims who are infected. Okay, I found someone. Is this the same person? It oh God. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yep. Okay, so let's do test experimental vaccine. Okay. Oh, she just, wait, she just threw water on him? Was that her way of giving him a vaccine? That's not how you give a vaccine. Do they know that? Okay, well, let's look for other ones then. Um, and then I did mention in the last episode that Naya was the one who sent the troops here. Someone asked why, and it's because they were just the ones who found out about it. So she sent troops to Strangerville because they needed help. Wait, can I not give this guy an infection? Wait, hold on. I have to make a vaccine for every single person? What the heck? Oh my gosh, okay, fine. But yeah, so Naya is the one who knows about this stuff. So I feel like she is very informed with what's going on. She's informed of what Bellatrix is doing and how well Bellatrix is doing. And I think she's trying to keep Evangeline and Amira updated. I feel like a lot of this is top secret though, but she did guarantee Evangeline and Amira that she would make sure Bellatrix is safe. I'm also curious. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have Strangerville, if you, enjoy doing this story too, or if you've never done it, I've actually seen other people not do it before too. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. It's definitely interesting having like goals and stuff you need to do. It's just like different from our Royal series, but I just love that this is adding so much character stuff to Bellatrix because you guys are really getting to know who she is, like how brave she is and how patriotic she is. And just that she wants to help people, how strong she is, how cool she is. It's just amazing. I love her so much. Okay, she's made one more. Let's let's go to town. Let's go find these zombie freaky people. People. All right, we are back at the bar. We've got this same person that we met last time. So test experimental vaccine. I can't do it on this Rohan person. I just love that that rhymes with Johan. Oh wait, what did that say? The vaccine seemed to cause some kind of reaction but did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing it on others. Well, yeah. Okay, I think one more is all we have to test it on. So let's find another zombie person. One more, found another person. All right, so that would that should be our last person. Eureka, the vaccine seems to be isolating the infection. Head back to the secret lab to create the infection vaccine on the chemical analyzer. Okay. I actually do. Th Did she pee herself? Did the vaccine make her do that? She's cured now though. So I guess it's fine. That's fine. Okay. I am going to, we're going to go back to Charles and Maxwell. We got to see Bellatrix. I'm going to have her. She's, uh, she should get it like a break real quick before she has to make that vaccine and stuff. So, I mean, the next few weeks, I think they're still going to try to perfect this vaccine and then we'll come see her in the next episode. But yeah. Okay. Let's go to Maxwell and Charles. All right. So Charles and Maxwell are throwing their first party at their townhouse. We have Fallon here. Okay, so there's a lot of randos here. So if anyone shows up in a ridiculous outfit, I apologize in advance. I did want to invite Journey because I think that Maxwell has been kind of starting to be attracted to Journey. He's known her for a while, but I can't find her. She's not showing up. She's not in the club anymore because they had their whole study group thing. Let me see if I can add her. But yeah, she's not showing up at all, even like in his relationship she wasn't showing up. So we'll just say that she's home for break and I'm gonna try to get her to come back here because she's supposed to be Fallon's roommate and I don't know where she is. Maybe Maxwell's gonna be talking to some other people. We have a mixologist here. I'm going to order a drink for Maxwell. So yeah, we'll get we'll get a beer and then we also have to finish this keg. This is the first time I've done a keg party, which I'm kind of excited for. I'm actually gonna have Maxwell do a keg stand. So he's gonna do that. I'm actually gonna have Charles and Fallon go upstairs. I do wanna show you the picture that she gave him. It's so cute. Look at this. This is the picture that Fallon gave to Charles. I thought it was cute. It's goofy. I think Charles and Fallon like being goofy together. Okay, Max is doing his first keg stand. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Also, there's trash like right below him. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. It's fine. It's okay, Maxwell. I'm sorry. All right, and then Charles and Fallon are talking upstairs. He's like, look, I put the picture here that you gave me. So yeah. Okay, so we're now getting a little bit, like the party's getting pretty lively now. People are drinking a little bit more. Maxwell's going to attempt this keg stand again. I think Charles is going to help him, but I mean, Charles isn't drinking, but Maxwell sure is. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I think this one looks like it's going to be successful. Oh no, no, it's not. Poor Max. He cannot do this right, Kenny. Oh, it looks like Maxwell's flirting with this girl. So this is, I think her name is Robin. Yeah, her name is Robin. I'm going to have him. Okay, sure. Go make out. I know I said Maxwell was kind of attracted to Journey, but she's not here and nothing has happened between him and Journey. So they're, they're doing their thing. And then Fallon and Charles are so cute. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. He's such a prince. He's so charming. He's also really dorky at the same time around her. I think she's spending the weekend with Charles because she's been at her parents and she doesn't want to go back to her dorm. Okay. Oh my God. Oh no. Wait, this guy is trying to talk to Charles and like do that attempt introduction thing with him. Maybe he recognizes him. <gasps> Wait, Fallon was just right there. Fallon was just right there. Honestly, it's bound to happen. Someone was bound to recognize him. Charles is like trying so hard to be undercover, but maybe this guy knows who we, oh, Charles is signing an autograph for him. Fallon's literally right there. Oh, and now he's angry. <gasps> Wait, now he's angry. Oh my God, you have to go talk to Fallon. She's probably so confused. Okay, Fallon and Char, Char wait, is she yelling at Charles? There's a bunch of people here. You guys need to go somewhere else and talk. What is happening? Go here, go outside. Maybe she's like, what the heck? is that all about? Like, did he just say you're a prince? Like, I'm so confused. I'm sure she tried to hear him out. Charles is yelling back, stop. Okay, yeah, maybe she was like waiting for an answer from him and she's like, are you a prince? Is that true? And I feel like Charles is like, yes. I feel like Fallon was like, why didn't you tell me? I think honesty is like super important for Fallon. Maybe just because of a past relationship or something like that. Maybe that's just like her number one priority for relationships, like honesty. Maybe she told Charles that at one point too. She's upset. She's so upset. This lady's like, uh, I'm gonna pretend I'm not listening, but I'm actually listening. Maybe he was just like, I really wanted to tell you, like I was literally going to tell you tonight. Cause I think he was, I think he was planning on telling her, but she's upset. She's like, you should have told me sooner. Like what the heck is going on? Like, why wouldn't you tell me this? I feel like Charles is trying to tell her like, look, I just, I had all of this stuff going on with like, where are you going? You're walking through a wall, Charles. But yeah, I think he's just talking about how stressful it was and how much distress he was under with his royal family. And I feel like Fallon's like, no, you should have told me. Like, that's not the point. You're missing the point. But Charles is yelling back at her and arguing with her. Maybe he's like, you wouldn't understand. Like, this is not a life that you're used to. I didn't want to tell you about it because it's so different from yours. Like, you just wouldn't understand. And I feel like that makes fast. She's so angry now. <gasps> She's storming off. Oh my gosh. I feel like she was like, fine. Then maybe you should find someone who does understand. <laughs> She's so angry. Oh my God. She's so angry right now. Well, that happened. I think we're going to end this episode here. You guys are going to have to tell me what you think. Fallon's pretty angry right now. They just had of their first fight. Fallon knows. But yeah, okay. So we're gonna end this episode here. But let me know what you guys think of Charles and Fallon. Let me know what you think of Beltrix solving the mystery, the Strangerville mystery. Definitely leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.